right with me when I don't know anything about machines at all. I can't. Oh, uh, Mr. Hugel, does it does this have uh, something to do with uh, mathematics? No. Oh, Went boy. down in nine. Well, did you do a lot of mathematics in your house? Did you? <laughs> well, my kids. No. I hope I know what it doesn't do a hundred times faster, so I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> I got a yes on that, and we'll go to the next question, which is, has this got anything to do with any form of communication? No. Two down and eight to go, Arlene. Does it do something to improve the home in any way? No. Three down and seven to go, Soupy. When this... But this card is put into a machine, right? Yes. Right. And it tells you that you, or it, it, you can do something better and faster by that than you could yourself. That, yes. Does it have anything to do with uh, anybody's, like, with the horoscopes of any kind? No. Four down and six to go. Anita, that's an interesting idea, though. What, what, what this card does, may, may I assume that it gives back information? No. Oh. You cannot assume that. Oh, it five down and five to go, Gene. Am I right in assuming that this card activates something, so something is done as a result of my using this card? Yes. Right. right. It like, helps you make something. I assume that if I were in the shower, I would not wash my back faster. Oh, it, it helps <laughs> that me is, make something. That's right. It helps me make something. Has it, would it be used in the kitchen? More the, than in the bedroom? Not, not necessarily. necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, could be, uh, not necessarily. Six down and four to go, Arlene. All right, you can use this machine any place in the house, is that right? Yes. And uh, is the machine um, as large as a um, uh, tape recorder? No. Well, well yes and no, I mean, it's a kind of a qualified yes because oh, well, it I depends mean, on which... I mean, is it about the... uh, so big, the machine? Is it that big? No. Yeah. You mean, is it that big or is it bigger than that or smaller no, than that? No, is it about this big? No. 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 Seven down, three to go super. Say? <laughs> and just think, if I only had one arm, it'd be like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, does this... But everybody... You would have this machine in your home? You could, yes. Yeah. Would this machine uh, be uh, uh, bigger than a bread box? Yes. Would it ever have a door on it or a window? No. No. Eight down and two to go. I want to, the I thing mean, that you're able to do is, is it, is it beneficial uh, to you? Yes. I mean, is it something that, that uh, like, in the, say, in the cleaning area? No. Nine down and one to go. Gene, you want to have one shot at yeah, it? Yeah, the we're machine that's in the house. And if, in order to have this piece of paper work, you have to have one of your machines, right? That's right. true. And the machine is in the house. And the machine does not give you instructions, but the machine actually does what you ordinarily did a hundred times slower than this machine is going to do it. That's you, right. That's right. It doesn't cook. It doesn't help you in the bathroom, in the bathtub, in the in the shower. So we're going to throw it all. Is that anything to do with typing? Do with the, no. uh, photography? No, no, it has to do with knitting. You can knit a sweater oh. one hundred times faster. Oh. Okay. I want to tell you that Mr. Hugel is underestimating his machine because in my case, that machine will knit it a million times faster <laughs> than I can do it. He's president of Brother International Corporation, the makers of the Brother Computerized Automatic Knitting Machine. How does it work? Well, you simply put that card into the machine and it could knit a hundred times faster than hand knitting. It actually well, duplicates look, hand knitting. I guess the best is way is just to pattern? show it. Jennifer, it's... would you bring one in, please? Oh, Let's go on over. Now, this card that I hold in my hot little hand right here would ordinarily go in here, right? And fit on two little kind of spindles. But there's already a card in there that is instructing the machine, so I won't put it in there. But that's where it would ordinarily go. Now, it's making this, right? That's right. Now, this is now hooked up blue. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you make it work? Well, you simply run the machine across this way. And we now knitted one row of hand knitting. It's fast oh, as that. Now, wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knit by that. I'm going to knit two rows. Right. Ready? Ready. All the way through. Oh, Did I do it? Well, you've got to go all the way through. Couple of knits. I've messed it up now, right? Well, no, But no. theoretically, I've knitted two rows. Is that's that right? right? That's right. Now, if you want to change, there's another one of these, you know, little antenna here. Right. You can put another colored yarn on here. And but then... you put that one on? Yes, that one. It goes through here and then around this. Right. And you can just... Thread it through there, and you got another. Now you have color. to take this off. Yes. How thick? 
a, a thread will it take? Look, you take any yarn that you can hand it. Exactly. Like, could you, you make it. a tie on this? Oh, yeah, very fast, about five minutes. No. Back Isn't that amazing? And you can make any kind of, like, can you make a cable stitch sweater or anything? That's right. Now, how much does this cost? This is under $200. Yeah. Under $200. So you can make all kinds of things with this then? Absolutely. Now, Anything. Jennifer has a dress on, and we'd like everybody to look at that. Now, that was knitted on this machine, was it not? Absolutely. Jennifer, would you come on in with this? Holy oh, oh. man. And Jennifer, would you tell us about that, please? I'd love to. This is a poncho slack outfit done in a soft beige metallic yarn. It is... Uh, done in a lacy pattern, sort of an open work uh, diamond pattern, and it's done directly on the machine. The fringe also is knitted directly from the machine. And how about that part around the collar, is that too? It's the same. It's also done directly on the machine. It takes four and a half hours by the brother's uh, knitting machine. To make that whole thing? Four and a half hours. That's you don't true. have to sell That's anything? Fantastic. You have to so sew the pieces together, I you guess. You can either it? sew it or, or knit it. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. That's really terrific. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. <laughs> well, Mr. Hugel has brought us some more examples of his work. So, Lloyd, if we could have the curtain open, please, and we'll see some other examples of things knitted on the machine. Now, who is this? Uh, Chris is wearing a simple street-length dress knit in the basic stock and net stitch. The long sleeve dress has a boutique of deep blue brand banded in white and topping a Kelly green skirt. It was knitted in just a few hours. That's terrific. Thank you very much, Chris. <laughs> this is Renee. She's wearing a two-piece rust dress in velnet knit. The self buttons close to a V neckline and the sleeves are set in. The skirt is a simple A-line and you can knit it in four and a half hours. Wow. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Kay is wearing a one-piece jumpsuit in lilac. It's a fine boucle with an open-work yoke and an empire waist. The outfit, an original design by, by Miss Vecchi, can be knitted in just three and a half hours. Now, what's that, what's that coat? Was that made also by Miss Vecchi? Yes, it's topped by an opera-length hooded white evening coat of medium-weight wool knitted in a combination of stockinette and a lace-like pattern. This whole garment was knit in one day. That's fantastic. Thank you, Kay. Is there a pattern that you put on there to tell you how what size it's to be and everything? Yes, uh, you uh, you put the card in there and you uh, direct the machine and that's what it does for you. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. What Thank a terrific you, machine. Wow. Dental insurance. Many employers don't offer it. Medicare doesn't include it. And people who work for themselves often don't consider it. But with Humana, you can still have it. Starting at just $18 a month. That's less than 60 cents a day. With the Humana Dental Plan, you'll get 100% coverage for in-network preventive care, such as oral exams, cleanings, and x-rays. Plus, you'll save on fillings, crowns, and other dental procedures. How much could you save? There's How much could you save? There's a quick, easy way to find out. Call Humana now at the number on your screen. Now at the number on your screen. A licensed Humana agent will explain your coverage options and give you a free quote. You can choose from a large network with over 335,000 dentist and specialist locations nationwide. And you can have coverage in as little as five days. There are no age requirements and you can't be turned down. There are a variety of plans to fit the whole family's needs and budget. Plus plans designed exclusively for veterans and their families. Humana even has vision plans too with coverage for exams, eyeglasses, and more. So whether you're looking for a dental plan, a vision plan, or both, call Humana now at the number on your screen. A licensed agent will explain your coverage options and give you a free quote. The call is free, the quote is free, and there's no obligation. Call now and discover the coverage you need at a price that'll make you smile. From Humana, a more human way to health care. Y'all, Pray.com is really allowing me to get my life back on track the way I always wanted. Which is so easy when you have the full Bible in your pocket. It just helps me feel more connected with Jesus through prayer. And let God's Word come to life. Download Pray.com to start today. Stunning! You did this?
You could totally be a designer. Rugs USA is my secret weapon. They make it easy to find a rug that pulls a room together. Wait, are these prices for real? Yes. Go to rugsusa.com slash TV for an extra 10% off now. Always free shipping. I got this mountain bike for only $11. DealDash.com, the fair and honest bidding site. This KitchenAid mixer sold for less than $26. This iPad sold for less than $43. And this PlayStation 5 sold for less than a dollar. I want these Bluetooth headphones for $20. I got these three suitcases for less than $40. And shipping is always free. Go to DealDash.com right now and see how much you can save. Ready to play? One, eight, two. Say it again. One. Eight. Two. One. Eight, two. One. Eight, two. Back and it's time for our next challenger. Would it's time for our next challenger? Would you enter and sign in, please? Art. Bramwell. Where are you from, Art? I'm from West Islip, New York. Okay, panel. Art Bramwell is the captain of a boat that goes from place to place performing a service which is normally provided only on dry land. We will now show you what kind of a boat of he is skipper of, of which he is skipper. <laughs> and we'll start the questioning with Arlene Francis. Now, something happens on your boat that usually only happens on dry land, is that correct? That is correct, yes. Is there anything uh, instructive that goes on no one down and nine to go soupy well are we looking for the activity on the boat well the kind of boat that it is oh the kind of boat that it is mm -hmm. well is it a boat that's found in the water yes it is <laughs> that's a start soup <laughs> that's it. That's a oh, boy uh let's see now there's something peculiar about this boat is that i wouldn't say that it's yeah. unusual it's an unusual boat. Now, the, the function that it performs is an unusual function for a boat. You have to find out what function it is that's Are going on on that Are people ever found on this boat? Yes. Are they doing something on this boat that ordinarily people don't do on boats? Yes. It, 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 could we rule out it's one of those kind of boats that, you know, that help people lose weight and, and smoke, quit smoking and everything? Yes, you can rule it out. But they do something on this boat. Is it, is it some kind of a, a nightclub atmosphere on this boat, like a discotheque? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Anita. May we rule out that it is, is in the entertainment area at all? Yes, you may. Uh, is it, uh, does it perform, uh, and may we rule out that it does, it performs no healthful services? No. Can't well, he helpful or health? Healthful. Health. Yes. Oh, like yes. Right. Healthful. Yeah. Oh, that's a clue, though. But maybe it, it is helpful. Yeah. Is it helpful to individuals rather than industry? Mm, rather than not necessarily. Three down oh. and seven to go, Gene. What was what was your last question? Is it helpful? Is it helpful then? helpful to individuals rather than industry? And I gotta know. Right. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You perform a service on your boat that is ordinarily done on land. Yes. And it is a service now. That's, that's, right. uh, that's my question. You're yes, performing it is. a service. Do you perform the service primarily to people on other boats? No, I do not. Four down and six to go, Arlene. Do you on this boat make stops every once in a while? Yes. Do you deliver something from this boat? Sometimes. Uh, well, I was thinking of mail, that sort of thing. Mail. No. Well, it's not no. a mail boat. No. Five down to five to go. Soup, you want to take a quick guess? Is it a commuter on? boat? No. No, it's not a commuter boat. Is it a boat? garbage boat? No, it's nope. not a garbage boat. One more try from anybody. Anita, you got to guess? I don't know what it delivers. Okay, we'll throw them all over. He oh. is the captain of a floating bank. Bank! <laughs> bank! Wow. Floating bank? Right? Right a bank! <laughs> hey, Larry. Every river has a bank, so I guess they better have a boat. Oh. <laughs> it's the houseboat branch of the Security National Bank. Now, would you like to explain that a little for wow. us, Art? Right? Well, yes. Uh, we sail our boat from mid-May to mid-September uh, to Fire Island and service the various communities there with banking services. Now, do you know of any other floating banks? Well, ours is the first floating bank uh, in the Northeast 
northeastern part of the country and the second in the nation. Can you have all banking services performed on it? Only one we can't do, and that's safe deposit vaults. <laughs> <laughs> we have some pictures of the boat here, and it's really marvelous. Here's, uh, here's one. Uh, would you tell us what this is now? This is the boat itself, I imagine. That is the, that's the bank boat itself, right. Uh, what kind of boat is that? It's, it's a, a boat, uh, obviously. It's a Chris Craft 34-foot houseboat that's been converted with security measures and various other things. That's terrific. Now, what is this? People just doing that's, business on That's a customer right at the teller's window with our guard standing next to him. And that's terrific. If you're ever out on Fire Island, you can go to the bank easily. Yeah. Thank you for being with us on What's My Line. It's a marvelous thing to do. Bye. With so many mesothelioma lawyers on television, how do you choose the right firm for you and your family? I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan, and here's my advice to you. Do your research. Results matter. Reputation matters. As America's largest injury firm, we have more offices, more lawyers, and more caring staff members than any other injury firm in the world. Last year alone, our team answered over two million of your calls and recovered over a billion dollars for our clients. Thirty billion dollars was set aside for mesothelioma victims like you. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, we'll come to you within 24 hours so our team can get to work right away. Wherever you are, whenever you want. Our goal is to get you as much as you deserve. Call us now. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Call 800-602-7500. That's 800-602-7500. Call now. Today, women with nighttime urinary incontinence don't have to wake up wet. Introducing the PureWick system, an innovative breakthrough system for managing female urinary incontinence at night. Morning, Mom. Good morning. How did you sleep? Better, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, the PureWick system works outside the body to draw urine away, helping to keep skin dry and control odor. The PureWick system is a non-invasive option for management of moderate to severe urinary incontinence helping to reduce the need for multiple changes at night or trips to the bathroom. Now, staying dry can be one less thing to lose sleep over. Order online at purewickathome.com and save up to 10% on your first starter set or call 800-804-9862 for more information. That's purewickathome.com. Time for one round of who's who. Oh, yeah. Could we, we open do? the curtains, Lloyd? Here we have four folks who have generously conceded go to play with us. One is a salesman, a tour guide, a security guard, and a chemical engineer. The job is to hand out the cards so that each person has the one stating his occupation. Uh, we'll start with Arlene. You have 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Okay, Soupy, you're on. Here goes Soupy. Well, maybe we should have left it the way it was. That is incorrect. And here comes Anita Gillette. Anita has blown it, and now it's time for Gene Shallot. You're on, Gene. Go on, you're on, you're on, Gene. Go, 20 seconds. Congratulations, Gene. You blew it twice. <laughs> now, that's it. You have won $100, and you have beaten the panel. <laughs> By right, you should get $125. Now, <laughs> would you all change the cards around so that you each are holding your own, please? Well, they were all wrong. Oh, I'm right. I knew it was There we are. And now, would you tell us who you are, please? Dale Holmgren, East Moline, Illinois, tour director. Thank you. Al Ozenstein, New York City, security guard. Thank you. John Brosma, salesman, New York City. Thank you. Leo Treadway, chemical engineer, Woodbury Heights, New Jersey. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 
You've beaten the panel, the whole panel. You have $100 and a special gift for each of you, and thank you for playing Who's Who on the panel. Each member of the Who's Who team will receive a Samsonite Silhouette Softie, the casual carry-on suitor, featuring three compartments for efficient packing. Samsonite, we make travel a little easier. Okay, we're back. If you have COPD, asthma, chronic bronchitis, or emphysema, we can help you breathe a little easier. Med for Home may be the solution to your breathing problems with our portable nebulizer and medications. Independent studies have shown a nebulizer can be easier to use and more effective than an inhaler. And with Medicare, your nebulizer and medications may be covered by your Part B benefits. We're a specialty pharmacy that has been helping people since 1998. Call Med for Home today and we'll do whatever we can to make things easier. We deal directly with your doctor, handle all the paperwork, deliver to your door with no additional cost for shipping, and our pharmacists and respiratory therapists are there for you 24-7. So call Med for Home now to see how our portable nebulizer and medications can help you breathe easier. For more information, call 1-800-209-0416. That's 1-800-209-0416. Men over 45, do you have a frequent urgent need to urinate day and night? I bet you do. That bladder never really empty and that enlarged prostate blocking that flow? I have good news. Presenting the Urolift system, a minimally invasive procedure that can give you up to 50% better flow and lasting relief. Best of all, Urolift is an outpatient treatment that simply reopens the channel with no cutting so you can quickly return to normal activities, all while preserving sexual function. Yes. Call 800-606-5100. Most common side effects are temporary and can include discomfort when urinating, urgency, inability to control the urge, pelvic pain, and some blood in the urine. Rare side effects, including bleeding and infection, may lead to a serious outcome and may require intervention. Lasting relief, people, is here. Ask your urologist about Urolift or call 800-606-5100 today. Helping families with mesothelioma is all we do. My firm has been offering a free book on mesothelioma for over 10 years. Since that time, hundreds of people with mesothelioma have trusted us to represent them. We have local offices throughout the U.S. and there is no risk to you. Mesothelioma really is all we do. Call us at 1-800-300-1893. That's 1-800-300-1893. Or go to mesobook.com. now for the special feature of What's My Line, the appearance of our mystery guest and soul panel, if you would, Don, your blindfold. I can't look at Jennifer. Gene is now putting on his blindfold, the all-in-place panel? Yes. yes okay, sir. mystery guest, would you enter and sign in, please? Okay, panel, we're going to go one question at a time. You have two minutes, and we'll start with Soupy Sales. Mystery uh, guest, would we find your name in the sports sections of the paper? Oh, no, 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 no. Anita? Oh, no. Are, would we f are you best known for your work in television? Oh, yes. Gene? Are you best known for your work in marionettes? <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't do that. I don't do that at all. At Are you all. on a nighttime series, my dear? No, I'm not at all. At Arlene? all. What you have mind? Are Arlene? you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you um, in a daytime series? No, no. Can you hear me all right? Y yes, I think You're they can. You're coming in loud and clear. When, when you, but you did do a series for quite a few years as the uh, second banana, right? Oh. Oh, that one? No, I didn't. <laughs> Anita? Well, you're best known for your work in television. Are you are you more an actress than, say, a comedian? I don't know. It's up for grabs right now, but then so am I. <laughs> Gene? <laughs> you're up for grabs. I assume that means socially. Professionally, are you on Broadway now? Oh, no. Eileen? <laughs> One are last you, shot. Are you uh, stationed uh, on this coast? Because oh. we ought to know about that. <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm not. No, oh, and not. I tell you, she thinks she's still on the other coast, which is why she's trying to be heard. Take <laughs> off your mask. She fooled you utterly. This is Betty White. Oh! <laughs> Why, Betty, 
I thought it was Vivian what? Vance. You sounded sort of like a... Um, well, I tried to... I, you didn't establish whether it was a man or a woman. <laughs> well, Listen, well, Pet Set is going to be seen on this coast now. Oh, it, it sure coast. is. All over the country. I'm back in business with the Pet Set, and I'm now, delighted. What was the concept of the Pet Set when you first started it? What, what well, you, the, the same concept it is now. The celebrity's talking about his or her pet, and then I, I write the show around their particular interest in animals. There's an animal nut right over there that <laughs> needed <laughs> Gillette, and, yeah. and Arlene is another one. How's your doxy? Beautiful. Good. How's your dog? <laughs> I, I saw my chimpanzee the other day. Did you find it? Yes, I found my chimpanzee, and she's okay. You know, I'm still looking. Don't go away. <laughs> we'll be back with more uh, right after this message of special interest. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome to Drive Across America, brought to you by CarShield. I'm your host, Chris Berman. CarShield makes sure you don't pay for expensive car repairs. We all know the cars will break down, and if your car is out of warranty, those expensive repairs could really be a disaster. That's where CarShield comes in. With coverage through CarShield, you'll never have to pay for covered repairs again, which is why I'm a very happy customer. Now, let's hear from the fans. How has CarShield helped you? I saved $6,000 on my engine. Wow, and what about you? They saved me $3,500 on my AC compressor. Ah, well, you heard it here, folks. CarShield is America's number one auto protection provider for a reason. When your car's check engine light comes on, that could spell big trouble for you and your wallet. An engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown could cost you thousands of dollars. But with CarShield, you'll never pay on covered repairs. CarShield covers practically all makes and all models, new or used. The first three months, we saved $4,100. CarShield saved me $7,000 on an engine and $3,000 on a transmission. They saved $4,100 out of pocket. CarShield's protected over a million Americans from expensive car repairs. It's the coverage that virtually pays for itself. If your car is out of warranty, you're at risk of getting stuck with expensive car repairs. Call CarShield now and get towing, roadside assistance, and rental car coverage at no extra cost. That's our show today, but don't drive another second without protection from CarShield. Why do we love CarShield? CarShield cars go farther! Now it's the time to make the smart choice and protect yourself from sky-high auto repair bills. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. It's only a matter of time until repairs are needed. And once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 800-587-9409. 800-587-9409. Late. Bye. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for What's My Line, a Mark Woodson, Bill Todner production. The program was recorded. I'm Milton Berle, and oh, have I got a secret. Oh. <laughs> From Hollywood, the show that reveals all, I've got a secret. And now, let's meet the star of I've Got a Secret, Steve Allen. <laughs> Hi. Hi, folks. That's all right. Thank you very much. Welcome to the new I've Got a Secret. Isn't it marvelous that Mr. Television is here? Yes, and his lovely wife, Mrs. Television, will be <laughs> in a few minutes. Right now, however, I want you to meet our wonderful panel. Tonight's panelists are fantastic, such as lovely comedian Pat Carroll and the star of the new comedy series MASH, Mr. Alan Alda, the gracious TV hostess and actress Betty White, and laugh-ins Richard Dawson. And there's our <laughs> <laughs> now let's see if we can get a contestant out here. In there. Nice to have you with us, ma'am, in that very Thank pretty you. dress. And what is your name? My name is Irene Knoke. Knoke? Yes. Knoke. All right. And where are you from, Mrs. Knoke? I'm uh, from... Ms. Knoke. Santa Monica, California. Santa Monica, California. 
Uh, have you ever seen uh, Irene Kanoka, Ka Richard? Uh, actually, Kano. Thank you. Very much. Well, if you did, you probably saw her at the Dobridge Circus. Uh, oh. She has brought along some of her friends from the circus, and we're going to open our door right now and see if we can locate them in center stage. Uh, yeah, isn't that cute? Oh. Cute little critters. And there they are, critting over there. Well, panel, Irene's secret, whatever my mouth said, concerns these little critters. And if you'll whisper your secret to me, Irene, we'll tell the audience what it is. Oh. <laughs> it takes all kinds, folks. <laughs> And we'll start the questioning with Pat Carroll. All right, thank you, Steve. Irene, um, uh, would this secret have to do with something the animals did? No. Uh, is it something about a familial relationship? Because there are three of them there. We, in a sense, we have to give you a yes, a kind of a weird offbeat yes on that. Is, is there any kind of incest involved or anything like that? <laughs> None of your business. Not on this program. <laughs> All right, one down and three to go, Alan Alda. Uh, Irene, is, uh, is, it, is there something, uh, is some way in which uh, uh, you're related to these uh, uh, primates here? <laughs> yes. Above and beyond the sense in which we all are, you mean? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, there, uh, uh, yes. Is there, um, do you have a very, uh, 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 I, I just have a, a sense of, do you have a personal connection with them? A very, I mean, I noticed the audience left. You seem to have a very personal connection with these. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Very good, Alan. Uh, two down, two to go, Betty White. Well, I'm an animal nut, as you know, and that is the biggest chimp I have ever seen in my whole life. I mean, if, if he grew to be 23 years old, I don't think... That's, he, that's more of a gorilla kind of a that's thing. Kind of a, that's kind of a big ape. Um, it, are, are the two smaller apes babies? Yes. How old is the center chimp? I don't really know. We don't really know. A very interesting question, however. Three down, one to go, Richard uh, Dawson. Uh, Irene, could it be that the uh, Al baboon in the middle is not really a baboon? You're absolutely yes. about right. <laughs> Would it be your g -g husband? Yes. Yes. In a suit? <laughs> That's right. Dickie. That's her husband, and the little one is her daughter. <laughs> and the other one is her lovely son, who is studying to be a doctor. Why don't you let uh, one of the little ones out there, Johnny Olson? Yeah, don't let the big one. And we'll look out. Hey, look out, look out! Uh, oh, oh, hold it, hold it. Wait. Oh, that's a... I'm not too sure that this thing is... Uh... Irene, what's your name, Fay 